It's the ninth year for the streets of Lancaster Grand Prix, and with 193 drivers, it's nearing capacity. It's going to become one of those where you actually have to enter, and we're going to have to say, no, we're done, because we can't grow anymore. The last two years, a New Zealander is the champion here. So that's how far they come. We got people from Italy. We got people from Mexico. They also have people from not too far away. Driver Daryl Tunnel is a member of Team Visalia and a racing veteran. How many years now have you been coming to the Lancaster Street Race? Uh, Barbara, I've raced every uh, Lancaster Grand Prix race they've had, I believe, which is nine this year. Um, so this, I've done them all. What is the strategy at the Lancaster Street Race? Well, your first strategy is to stay out of the barriers because they're non-forgiving and uh, it can do a lot of damage to your car and or your body if you hit them hard enough. 11-year-old Delaney Adamo found out firsthand how punishing the streets of Lancaster can be. I was going through turn two and I hit the barriers and I cartwheeled. Delaney has been racing for four years since she was seven, though she says her cartwheel was kind of scary. I will keep racing this weekend because I love racing and I'm not going to stop. At this race and all races, a big part of what everybody seems to love is the teamwork. We have a neighbor that's actually racing in the same class as us that we just met today. Uh, has a little problem with his engine, so as sportsmanship goes, you work together and just get it done. We've had occasions where the axle is completely bent up, so the wheel's sticking up in the air, or the front end is completely torn off, and the whole team will come together, we'll all put the parts back on it, get them back out for the next heat race. It's really a team effort. Behind me is the longest straightaway in all of North American karting. Typically, they're about 800 feet. This one, 1,000 feet. That long straightaway helps get the pro kart racers from 0 to 100 miles per hour in about five seconds, which might have something to do with why drivers love racing and especially the streets of Lancaster. There's nothing like it in the world. It's uh, uh, the speed, the adrenaline, especially on a track like this, it's a constant adrenaline high. It's pretty, pretty cool. In Lancaster, Barbara Sharp for Spectrum News.